back in it. Ooh. And we're back. Do we have a little game. recap for, for new folks? Anyone want to go like go through their lands? Not really. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Screw you guys. You should have been here from the start, <laughs> new yeah. folks. Yeah. So watch the vod, so you, you noob. I think Shin's doing something, Shin's doing something quite secretive. I wonder what he's doing. Yeah, no, there's nothing that secretive at all. Mm. Mm. Oh, but tell you what, you've been wrestling my jimmies recently, uh, Lewis. This is war time again. I, I feel like... I, I haven't seen you yet, though, so alas, I cannot declare war on you, but <laughs> if I do see you... Oh, war. you guys are teaming up. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. No, Has Lewis teaming. asked you to declare war on him so he can build walls quicker? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I bet you. Not, did not you true. Where did you go? You getting this from? <laughs> Duncan. What? Duncan. Bullshit. I, I Bullshit. feel like you, you've been wrestling my jimmies, Duncan. I feel like you should declare war on me. <laughs> yeah. I Why? feel like you're not. Because I declare war on you. I feel like it's only fair that you declare war on me. I don't he, understand. He, wants, that. What he, do you want he gives him a eureka for the wall building. <laughs> oh. I want walls, Duncan. <laughs> I want walls. Declare war. <laughs> I'll give you some gold. <laughs> Yeah? How much? Five gold. That's not enough. Will five anybody, gold per turn, maybe. Will anybody do this for five gold? It's, there's no cost to you. Sure. Five gold. Fuck. I haven't even met you yet, man. I know, you, you're a bit too close to home with you. I don't actually know what you're doing. <laughs> you could actually be going to war with me. I don't know. Really mm. is top on military score. He's top and on military. Shin is dead last. To be fair, Shin, it's not like you can stop me from declaring war on you. I can't, no. If you, if you want to, then yeah, <laughs> go for it, I suppose. Don't you dare. Don't you freaking dare, Quadri. No, you did! <laughs> Dared. Wonders are coming in thick and fast, though. Yeah, I haven't got any wonders yet. Oracle taken, and now the Apadama. Oh, Apadama. Dear. Apadama. Someone built the Apadama. 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 Recorded mm. history. I've only got three cities still, so I feel like I'm kind Insane, of... Same, man. I feel like I'm kind of behind. I'm in, I've only got three. I've only got three. Am I going to have war? Wow. Wait, wizian has got 45 cities. More 45? Ben, wow. ben built, so many. Look at this encampment, Ben, in the pass. Yeah, this is my pass. No. <laughs> you shall not pass my pass. <laughs> no hot gates for you, Sparta. I mean, you could have, you could have, that's like a good site for a flipping old campus there, Ben. You know, what are you doing? Yeah, but book boys aren't going to protect my lands. Book boy against the my only neighbour who gains bonuses for killing people. It's true, it's a dodgy one that, isn't it? Gorgo, mm. gonna oh, you, oh, oh, oh. Gorgo. Oh, I've got my Sphinx. It looks weird not in the desert. Does it have oh, a different colour? No, it's still made of sandstone. You got um, a Sphinx? Can we see? Can I see? I, oh, wanna, it's I, I really cool. wanted to build a Sphinx. Have you built yeah. it just on the old land? On it's just next to a river. Yeah, there it is. Okay, opinions on. Solo. What? We don't know about the it yet. Movie? Do we? Movie. Well, we haven't seen it yet. Well, I've heard no. it's terrible. It sucks. Well, do you think it can be slash will be good? It could be good. Yeah, I've heard it's good. If the rumors that are coming out of the production are true, it probably did. Won't it, was anyone really asking for a Han Solo prequel movie? No. I was actually. Where 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 he makes witty lines such as "I have a very good feeling about this," mm. and and he learns. How to shoot, to always shoot turning the first. genre on its on its head, man. You have to yeah. realize that Star Wars is no longer just three films. It's a Disney product now. It hasn't been three films stuff. for like fifteen years. So. I know, but well, that's what I'm saying. Like it's going it to be to me. It's going to be having a lot of films now. He's changed the game. Exploring he? everything. I, don't know. I hope it's good because I like Star Wars and I want it to be good. Just it, yeah. isn't, it isn't always good. I, ho I hope it's good. I am just worried We're that it's We're very pessimistic, be... aren't we, about mm -hmm. it? Yeah, yeah. I, I am. Because I'm worried that it's going to be like all, all set up. Like ironic stuff. Like he sees Chewie's... He sees Chewie's bow cast the first time. And he goes like, that looks like a dumb weapon. I never mm. want to use that. Looks at the camera, yeah. winks. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of that, isn't there? <laughs> Oh, God. He, he's gonna fall in love with Emilia Clark, Daenerys, and then and she's gonna, gonna say, "I burn love him. you," and she's gonna say, "Dracarys." Oh, no. oh my God! Um, if everything you say happens, I'll just kill myself. Perfect Sounds movie, the worst. How about we wait for the movie to actually be made and shown? He's to gonna us. no. <laughs> we are wallowing in our pessimism, okay? Because <laughs> then we'll be happily surprised. Oh. Can't, can't be disappointed. I do that with sports. Yeah. He's going to like walk up to someone 
And then he's going to hesitate, and they shoot first. And then he's going to learn his lesson. He needs to learn to always shoot first. Yeah. No, you aren't. I think that'd be good, though. And then when he first, like, wins the Millennium Falcon, he's going to say, what a piece of junk. Oh. But it's all brand new and shiny. Yeah, but he'll still say it for some reason. Why does your brain work this way? I don't know, <laughs> man. I don't want it to be that bad. You're ruining everything, You're ruining really. everything I love. Stop Fuck! it. I, hope it's good. I, I really hope it's good. I, I, I hope it's good. I, unlike most people, actually quite enjoyed The Last Jedi. I like Last um, Jedi. So, yeah. yeah, I kind of mm. like it. I can understand what people disliked about it, but I, I liked it. And I agree with some parts that they, they dislike. But yeah. I have mixed feelings. I, I got it. mixed feelings. I got mixed feelings. I got drunk and I watched that film and it was a good time. Me too. Yeah, I had a good time. I had a good everyone, time. that's the bad thing. Everyone always has to judge films like too harshly that's why i love red letter media don't get me wrong love them they're they just they expect everything to be amazing to like things yeah i mean i i think the problem they had in many cases as well was that they kind of got famous shitting on movies and particularly shitting on star wars so they they kind of feel like they have to keep shit on it and they i'm not saying like they're faking their opinion but I think they're kind of going into it being like, all right, let's find all the shitty bits about this so that we can talk about it and, and shit on it for our show. Yeah, I mean, their, um, their regular show, Half in the Bag, is often them trying to find problems because there's not yeah. enough actual problems in the film. Um, Half in the bag. Half in the bag. <laughs> Half in the bag. <laughs> They're like, this is schlock, but it's good schlock. And they'll say it like that. But even in, in the back of your head, you're, they're saying this is shit. It's not like up to their standards. So, yeah. But sometimes, if like, I only watch Half in the Bag now if I know the film's terrible. Because I just kind of want to see the yeah. really savage, well, terrible yeah. film. If you don't already don't like the movie, it's fun shitting on something. That, <laughs> if It sounds mean, but it is kind it's of true. fun to like shit on something if you all kind that of dislike something. It, it's it's like fun. venting, you know. Yeah. You get it out of your system. But man, it really sucks when you you thought you liked something and you go to see like a critic or someone you respect and they're like, oh, let's see if they liked it. And they just shit all over it. And and then you really dislike their opinions, but some of the things they said are right. And now you look at the movie a different way. And- <laughs> oh, shit, actually, yeah. Yeah, that happened yeah, to me. That's, from- a, that's a good point. Like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't I watched- think of that before. <laughs> <laughs> that happened with them. Um- Jurassic World, someone pointed out like just how like all the problems with Jurassic World. And I was like, oh, they're right. It's terrible. I didn't like Jurassic World when I saw it. <laughs> and I didn't really know why. I was like, this just it was just something wrong with it. It just wasn't right. Never talk to people who love films and are into all that kind of arty style, kind of how it's put together about films you mm. love. Yeah. <laughs> It'll ruin the fun. Because if you're enjoying it, yeah. where's the harm? Just enjoy it. I do I do strongly believe that like people should be able to love like I have a fondness for like shitty action movies. Like I really like shitty action movies. What's and your not, favorite not shitty, shitty like, action movie? Like popcorn movie. Like I, I fucking like Universal Soldier with John Claude Van Damme and Dolph. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. classic. Yeah. classic yeah. But they, I feel like yeah. I love eighties trash action films, but I can't really yeah. enjoy the modern ones for some reason. I, I, did you ever see Shoot 'Em Up? That was pretty cool. No, oh, God, good. yeah, with that Clive Owen. Clive Owen, really really good. Good. Clive Owen is probably the worst actor to ever grace <laughs> any screen ever. <laughs> wow. wow. There, there's a guy in the office, actually, and it's his favorite actor. And we all rib him for it. Yeah. <laughs> his, his, also, his favorite queen is Queen Elizabeth. Name and shame, this, this, this guy whose favorite actor is it's, it's Will. It's Will. Have you ever played Cave Blazers? Yeah, he's the man I who made, made uh, Blaze Them Caves. Actually. Which is why the main character yeah. is based on Clive Owen. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He's named Clive. His name is Clive Owen. And then you can make a second character, and he's named Owen. Mm. Together they are. <laughs> Clive Owen. It's too much power for one man. <laughs> we have to share it. I've been getting addicted to really schlocky, like medieval movies, like Ironclad and uh, the King Arthur ones. Oh, man. I just with watched the Solomon Iron Kane Mitch? last night. Mm. There's a, there's a movie, a movie that came out recently with uh, one of the ra- famous rappers, re- hip hoppers. I hip-hoppers. someone will know in chat. One of the hip hop boys. 
the hip hop or doo wop. He's hey. a black man. Go. No. <laughs> Why you gotta turn? No, no, no. It's true. It, it, I mean, it was. Uh, it was. Yeah, it was called the man with the iron fist, and the screen. He's like, he's got double like iron gauntlets things and like cool stands. It's very like schlocky action kung fu, but. I feel like that's a movie I could just enjoy, just chilling, just Spawn. watching people punch I each could other. Watch Spawn again. Spawn is oh god, I haven't weird. seen Spawn since like the nineties. <laughs> movie, one of the best movies ever made, I think. I <laughs> <laughs> I remember it being quite bad at the time. <laughs> one of the worst movies I've ever seen. It's a piece of shit. Those rating sites are like, if you ever look up like top 50 scary movies of all time, you'll get like a bunch of shitty movies and then you'll get these stupid 1920 scary movies that will never scare I anybody. As top <laughs> I did that. I went like top 100 films of all time. I reckon I've seen most of them, but I want to see some of the other ones like them fill in my gaps. And I looked at it and it was just, they were, 90% of that top 100 films of all time were made before 1960. Yeah. yeah. Like, There's no way so all pretend. of these some films. Of, some of them work. Up. Like yeah. uh, Twelve Angry Men. Yeah, that you still holds up. Freaking great fantastic movie. movie. Still yeah, to but the day. Mm. A lot of the movie, but I think that's because that movie, movie just kind of works. That movie mm-hmm. feels mm-hmm. like it's a play, and it's kind know? of universal. It is basically a play. Yeah. It's all in yeah. one room. I'll, I'll yeah. give an example. Rotten Tomatoes top fifty horror movies. Number two is Nosferatu. You know, I know what number one is. Get out. Oh, well, I mean, get out is, like, oh, first of all, compare those movies. Those, like, yeah, those shit. could not be more different. That could not be more different in terms of horror, honestly. That, that is nuts. But, like, no one is going to be afraid of I don't, well, maybe I shouldn't say that because I, I guess I haven't watched it, but I can't imagine anyone would be afraid of Nosferatu nowadays. No, well, it'd be too funny, right? All the it goofy special be, effects and stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's part of it. It's like sometimes when you watch, like, an 80s and 90s movie, and the uh, the special effects are just really weird. They're like the Undertaker comes back at WrestleMania 34, lightning bolt. Weird. It's not no, very good. No. Oh, no, that's cool. <laughs> Nothing is that bad. That was pretty bad. <laughs> that was pretty bad. I've made better lightning bolts than After Effects <laughs> by using the preset lightning bolt. <laughs> You're right, Lewis. Oh, I'm gonna make it into a golden age. I'm, I'm seeing if I can get more on three cities out, but I'm, I'm just living in the fucking snow boys. I'm a fucking snow boy. You wanted to. Snow boy. It's tough being fucking a snow boy. Snow boy. Snow boy. Oh. What a snow fuck. <laughs> what? Yeah, snow. You snow. Heard. <laughs> you heard. <laughs> I, I did hear. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said what. <laughs> It just, is tough being a snowboy. Just sh- sh- shut, shut the front door. Well, how really do I get? <laughs> how can I get it so my guys can go on boats? Uh, research sailing. I've done. No sailing is just for embarking builders. You need I've, to go further. I've done to sailing. Everything. Oh, I have to do shipbuilding to like units to land. Yeah, oh yeah. no, the scout's been waiting you went for, for ages. the wrong one. You numpty. Well, I have to get one to get to other. Imagine building. A, I could build a harbor here. But... <laughs> wow. <laughs> They give you a trade route somehow. <laughs> I'm really sure how that would Honestly, work. harbors are pretty good. I can build it in a lake, though. <laughs> yeah, two tile lake, half of it filled with harbor. It's, it's more harbor than water. I could actually put one here as well. Actually. You could put it there. I don't. I feel the like building it here lake. is more useful because then I can actually put boats out. No, I want to see the one tile the lake one harbor. Tile harbor. <laughs> it's more wood than water. <laughs> Just. We're just going to get rid of this lake. We're just going <laughs> to cover it over. over. <laughs> uh, what, I don't know where to put it. I, 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 mm. Do I even want one? Ah, uh, no. I can mm. make a a a a kampong. Kampong. A kampong. What's a kampong? I don't know. <laughs> I'll find out next turn. <laughs> find out next time what a kampong is. What is a kampong? On oh your god! Civilization. Oh my god! Six. What? This is he there? He's got to be there. What? Never mind. I'm just sorry. I'm thinking Hello? out loud. I thought my governor hadn't been assigned I've for a long time, but I think he probably life. is. Where do you you don't you see him on the thing? Like he should be on the no the the nameplate. Yeah, he's on the on the city. There's like a should be an icon of a guy's face. Ah, I'm built my first ah. camp. My campong. Campong. He might there it have is. been. It's like, a, oh, it's, wow. like a, a it's like a it's like a pirate to the Caribbean pirate it's fortress. A water house. Dang. 
It's cool. No more cut scene. No more cut scene. The Kampong, Sam. <laughs> the Kampong. <laughs> Not really. A... What? What? Wrong. Uh, no. <laughs> this is me. So, there it is. There it is. You did it. My Kampong. What is it? It gives me a housing and a production. You are starting Waterworld right now. I know. Duncan's emigrating to the to the ocean. <laughs> It's not quite as good as a space race. <laughs> it's just as good. <laughs> I it's promise. Different. My house has stilts. <laughs> <laughs> so is Vidian still got like super military? Uh, yeah, he's still king of the soldiers. Oh, oh shit, I haven't lived in that for a while. You should be the kingier of the oh, soldiers. Oh, yes, Vidian followed by Ben, followed mm. by moi. I don't know why I'm king of the soldiers. Mm. I literally have two archers, two warriors. That's more than me. <laughs> I have a boat. <laughs> Someone should have made you. I mean, I'm still second. <laughs> or after third, rather, but yeah. Gotta watch my borders with Rithian. I do think he's coming my way. It's all right. I'm actually building some, some pretty cool dudes right now. How cool are the dudes? Mm-hmm. dudes. Well, they have horses. Nice. That is actually pretty cool. Yes. Horses are very cool. Very cool. Actually, you know, as far as animals go, they're pretty shit. Yeah, they're kind of stupid. They're like giant rabbits. Like, get a car. <laughs> <laughs> a car doesn't shit itself in the street. Yeah, but <laughs> horses are the only thing that you can, like, have just shit everywhere and no one cares. No one cares, do Nobody they? cares. You can just walk down, you can take a horse <laughs> down Oxford Street and poop in front of Harrods or whatever. <laughs> yeah, poop in Regent front of the Street. Queen. <laughs> and, uh, this, is this is true. And no one's going to stop you. Well, <laughs> yeah. so if you get your dog to do that, you get fined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it is true. Oh, could you imagine if you had to pick up after your horse? It would be, you need a sack. <laughs> yeah. And a shovel. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You're walking your horse down the street. <laughs> uh, unfurling a giant black <laughs> dog bag. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in your pocket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, if, oh, you, yeah. if you had, if you just, if you stopped your car and got a shovel of shit out the back and just dumped it in the road, <laughs> yeah. you'd probably get arrested. Although I guess in a way, cars just spray things that are worse than shit into the air as mm, they drive along all true. the time. Yeah, spray but, mercury and I mean, yeah. cyanide and yeah. anthrax. It doesn't look bad. <laughs> yeah, At least it doesn't look bad. <laughs> it just murders us. I can't see it. It's fine. <laughs> So I, was, I was reading this thing. Apparently, there was a there's a, a there was a, um, a a thing they did like a test to see if uh, hand dryers were were oh, actually what? good or not. Or if they sprayed germs apparently, everywhere, they just suck up all the germs and shit particles from the entire bathroom <laughs> spray and spray it onto your hands. clean hands. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so never use hand dryers. No, right. it's fucking disgusting. It's pretty. <laughs> wow. Top tip from Duncan. <laughs> I just you just know. wipe it on your jeans like everyone else. Yeah, <laughs> or just just let it air dry. Yeah. <laughs>